Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video we are going to look at these pilgrim pants from the company Helicon Tex. And if you've been watching my channel, you probably realize Helicon Tex is a brand whose products I've come to greatly enjoy and trust and these keep me safe dry and comfortable when out in the elements. And so today we are going to look at these pilgrim pants, which at this point I have worn at very significant length. So you're looking at these after I've used them and abused them in a number of different scenarios. So general bushcraft tasks and out in the mountains on deep wilderness excursions, these pants have absolutely been brought through hell and back, gone through the paces and at this point, I'd say, all things considered, don't really show too much in the way of wear, but what wear does exist, you will see it. Full featured, wonderful pants that if you've listened to me in my past reviews, I've talked about thinking about your gear as a system. Well, that's absolutely the case here with these Pilgrim pants. So leveraging these in the outdoor environment to create a system that keeps me comfortable, keeps me safe, and ultimately has good quality durability and awesome, awesome performance. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Helicon Techs who did provide this product for review. And so, yes, the Pilgrim Pants. And as I mentioned, a product that I've come to greatly enjoy for a number of reasons. First and foremost, the fit. The fit on these Pilgrim Pants is fantastic. Now, a few things to consider, and as we look at this here, well, the sizing here for me, I'm about six foot one. Right now I'm at about 175 pounds. I typically have around a 32 inch waist and 34 inch length. Now, my waist size will vary between 32 and 34 inches, depending on, quite frankly, what I'm trying to do and how I manage my body weight. I actually fluctuate quite a bit and I manage my body weight different ways for different reasons. Right now I'm right around 175 pounds with a 32 inch waist, but my leg size, well, that always stays the same. I'm at right around a 34 inch inseam. And so what you'll notice is these here are a European medium long, which translates to a US 32 inch waist, 34 inch length. So that's the main thing, just paying attention to the size. So again, these are a European medium long. But this particular size fitting me absolutely perfect. I love the way these fit. And there's a few things about these that really aid in the fit and to dial it in. And the first thing and something that I have come to greatly enjoy, not just with Helicon Tex pants, but in general, and it sounds a little funny at first, but a Velcro waistband. So the ability to not snap this, to not button it, yet Velcro it shut, to me is definitely an advantage. And when you're doing something like hard use tasks outdoors and in the wilderness, Velcro is the way to go. And the reason why I say that, it gives you flexibility and adjustability in the overall waist. So if you need a little bit more room and a little bit more give, well, you can open that up. Or if you wanna tighten it down and get it good and cinch tight, you can adjust it that way too. And it's not gonna let go. I mean, I'm pulling fairly hard here and it's not gonna let go. I will probably rip the fabric before the Velcro lets go. And so that's the first thing, having the Velcro and the ability to dial in the waist gives you overall comfort. And that comfort's gonna be important, whether you're working or you're hiking, because for me, well, when I'm hiking, I have a backpack on, and my backpack is typically pretty heavy. And the last thing I want is to drag my pants down. So in combination, the Velcro in the front with a good quality belt, these go absolutely nowhere. And the next thing that aids in comfort, well, the back of the pants. Here you'll see these have a very high rear waistband that rides up high on your back and it is also padded. And that does two things. One, keeps your back a little bit warmer in the cooler months, but two, 
it adds that padding and it just feels good. It's comfortable kind of around a little bit shorter than your kidney section, but right up around there. And if you think about it, when you have yourself a heavy pack, well, instead of the bag riding on your back, it's sitting there nicely on the padded pants. That works out very well. And considering how much time these pants have spent with a pack on my back, nowhere whatsoever. And that speaks to the material these are made of, the proprietary Dura Canvas material made specifically for Helicon Tex. I've had it on a number of different pieces of their outerwear and it performs extremely well. I have found it to be very abrasion resistant and does a wonderful job holding up. Now this particular pair of pants here in the ash gray and black combination, you can get these in a number of different colors. For me, having something in the ash gray with black has just worked out about perfect, matches many different things and is fairly flexible in terms of, you know, the, and I, I'm not going to say camouflage by any means, but I like to blend in. I like to be a little bit subdued. I really am not looking for loud and bright and flashy. So having something in the ash gray and black combination has been about perfect. And so one thing worth mentioning here, these are part of the Bushcraft lineup. So here you'll see the little leather patch and on the front here, a number of pockets. So these pants are very well laid out for a number of different purposes. Call it the outdoor activities and in this case some bushcraft activities now of course these are in the bushcraft lineup you could use these for a number of different things and i have come to greatly enjoy these for hiking camping and backpacking and the reason being well first off the durable material which we've already talked about but they also dry quite quickly. So where you're sweating and when you have a high level of potential perspiration, having something that's gonna dry out quickly works out very well. And you'll notice that when we look at the inside of these, well, there are some areas with actual mesh and ventilation. So they have built some ventilation specifically into these pants and the mesh that you're seeing here, well, that does fall into some of the pockets. So getting back to the front of the pants here, first things first, you'll see these nice YKK zippers and quality hardware throughout. Again, that Velcro flap, tons and tons of belt loops. So double belt loops and they are fairly closely spaced, which is nice because your belt is not going to sort of sag down. It's going to stay nice and tight and really give you good overall security around the waistband. Again, all the way across that padded back and around both sides. At the top here, you'll see some loops. These are for suspenders. Now, I have not found that I need them. I would be interested to try it. I have personally actually never worn suspenders. I don't think ever potentially i'm not completely sure of that maybe i was a little kid but in my adult life never really had the need and i could see it being helpful to keep your pants where you want it and then maybe in combination with a belt that would just be nice now these loops here do come into play i have used these to clip on carabiners with my keys uh tools my gloves i have used these also to use a dump pouch. Now, here's what I'm talking about when you use your equipment like a system. Taking a quick look here, you will see these are the Woodcrafter gloves. They do come with a carabiner and just clipping them here nicely on the front of the Pilgrim pants, that works out very well. And here I have the Frostbite hand warmer. Now, one thing that's just a little bit of a downfall, but there's not much you can do, these particular clips here don't quite make it to these tabs. It would be nice if they did. However, you could theoretically add a carabiner, clip it on, add a carabiner, clip it on, and it will go through the loops on this Frostbite hand warmer. So then off the front of your pants, well, easily enough, here you have your hand warmer working very well. Now the pockets on these Pilgrim pants you will see nicely reinforced. So if you have a pocket knife or a flashlight going in your pocket, that's going to aid in the overall durability. And then on the inside, just again, the Dura canvas, there is no mesh on these particular pockets. So nice, deep, like almost oversized pockets. They are quite large and do a nice job holding things in place. There are no zippers or any sort of keepers inside, so they're pretty much just open pockets, one on each side of the pants. 
But here's where the pockets really mount up. You have a ton of options here. So first thing on the top, you will notice these buttoned pockets. Now, one little gripe and not a huge deal, but these buttons are quite difficult to undo. And you'll see it's going to take me a second to fiddle around with these. They are tight when you look at them here. Takes a little bit to get that split open and to get out of the way. So I don't usually button these. I pretty much leave them open. Now these pockets here are perfect for a number of things. You could actually put a magazine. So if you had a firearm, that would work out well. For me, it actually fits my wallet and also my cell phone easily. So my cell phone does fit perfectly in here. And as I slide that into place, you'll see it sticks out a little bit over the top, but not a big deal. It's good and secure and I can get on it easy to pull it out. So that works out well. You could also put a folding saw. You could put a fixed blade knife. There are a number of things that would go perfectly in this pocket so very nicely done and you do end up with one on each side so if you look here they are sort of towards the rear of the pants so sitting nicely on top just below the waist belt and very well positioned then next on the side of the leg you end up with two pockets so a zippered pocket and then another buttoned pocket you will see again i don't typically button these i find these quite difficult and especially where you need to tuck these under this flap you can kind of do it but again it's a bit cumbersome i uh... I am not a huge fan of these buttons. I think they are just a bit on the difficult side, a little bit tight, and as I feed this through, just from a matter of practicality, in reality, I won't use these buttons all too much. I pretty much leave these open, and these pockets pretty much stay literally fully open all the time. So as you see, I'm struggling to get that back open, but here you go. So. This pocket here, this is that vented pocket. So as I showed you the mesh in the first place, that's where that comes into play. So if you wanted to leave this open and allow this to breathe a little bit, you could certainly do so, but this is your zippered pocket. So if you needed something to be secure, say for example, your cell phone, and you wanted to keep it in there nice and safe, you would rely on that zippered pocket. Now inside here, you'll see this little slip pocket. I find this is a little tight, like for example i would try to put my cell phone in there but it doesn't quite fit my phone is just a little bit large you could potentially slip a wallet in there i find honestly i typically put my keys so i'll take my keys drop them down inside that pocket they sit nice and deep all the way down to the bottom of this pocket which is massive so this zippered pocket literally goes all the way down to the bottom here and that's how far down my keys would sit. And then on top of that, I zip it shut. So very secure. And the nice thing is, again, very well done with the YKK zippers. And you end up with this sort of little flap here, which keeps everything nice and tidy. So working out very well. And in front of that, again, that button pocket, as we look here, another nice deep dump pouch. Now this is gusseted, so you'll see it does sort of expand. So that's one of the things that you'll notice. Good overall pouch size, fairly large. And the ability to just dump things in here I love having good quality cargo pants. And especially for the camping and bushcraft scenario, you end up with a lot of gear. So everything from you know cordage, your fire making materials, sometimes you have snacks, tools, all the tie outs and things that you need to manage. Having good quality pockets is a must on your pants and you have that whole setup not only on one side, but on the other side as well. So very nicely done with the pockets and the layout and the ability to just load stuff into these pants. These are great and I greatly like the pocket layout. Now another big thing with Helicon Tex is all of the reinforcement. So you'll see these have stains on them. I kneel around everywhere in these pants. So they have sap and dirt and grime, not a big deal. Quite honestly, these could probably clean up perfectly, but I just don't care. They're good hard use pants and they're gonna look the part. So you will see reinforcement not only on the knees, 
but the rear side as well, aiding in the overall quality and durability and the overall resistance to abrasion. The Dura Canvas material you can see here with no abrasions on the rear and on the knees. And considering how much I kneel around on these, I have just used and abused these in really hard scenarios. And these look absolutely perfect with the exception of a couple little marks. Getting down onto the lower legs and the cuffs, well here you'll see these do have the ability to cinch them down. So if you'd like to cinch these down, really around your ankles, around your boots, you can do so. I found that I have not necessarily done that, but you'll notice that in certain areas they are nicely stitched and a little bit reinforced. And last but not least here you'll see that the crotch is gusseted so it gives you a bit of overall extra material, a little bit of extra room, and these just have a wonderful fit. So Helicon Tech's doing a nice job with the design of these pants. The overall look, the fit, the feel, the functionality, the durability, these Pilgrim pants are absolutely awesome. And so again, I'd like to say thank you very much to the people at Helicon Techs for providing this product for review. As you've heard, I greatly enjoy these Pilgrim pants. They are absolutely awesome. From the overall capability, durability, and comfort, these are pants that I've come to greatly enjoy and trust. I rely on these in the outdoor elements. And for everybody watching, if you do not have any Helicon Tech's gear or apparel, I can say I greatly recommend it. And these Pilgrim pants here, I would say you will absolutely enjoy. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. Hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.